Hi there everybody, I'm in Warrow 7 and today by popular request on Twitter I'm going to make a video on how you can use your iPhone as a webcam for OBS Studio, Streamlabs OBS and the Elgato game capture software. So for this video you will need an iPhone. I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max sitting right next to me, standing next to me on its own little stand. So you'll need that phone. You'll need an iPhone or an iPad. Okay, it works on whichever. Second, you will need a Mac. Uh, definitely a decently beefy one, okay? MacBook Air probably won't, it'll do it, but it won't work efficiently for streaming. But anyway, a Mac. And then iOS 11 and newer is what I've tested it on. It might work on older ones like iOS 10, 9 maybe, but no guarantee there. And if you wanna use Memojis on your iPhone, you're gonna need an iPhone 10 or newer, okay? Like well, the ones with the Face ID stuff that do your face instead of Touch ID. And the ones that are older that don't have Face ID, those ones will definitely work, but you'll have to use Snapchat. So my method today is how to use an iPhone as a webcam on OBS Studio first. And if you're wondering about the NDI source, why do I have my Xbox on this thing? You don't need the Elgato game capture card for this, okay, on Mac. You can do this without it and just stream your actual Mac instead of whatever console you want to use the Elgato game capture card for. Uh, just a quick tidbit, you can skip this part if you didn't, you're not interested in console streaming on your Mac, but OBS Link is what you need to be able to stream on your Mac with the Game Capture HD60S. If it's the HD60S+, Plus, you don't need this OBS Link thing. And the OBS Link is just a little thing that you install on your computer and allows the Mac to read the older HD60S signal. It that OBS link does a conversion that allows the Mac to understand it. If you have the newer, the S+, Plus, then you don't need to worry about this. But anyway, I did this for aesthetic reasons. You don't need Elgato at all to be able to use your iPhone uh, as a capture cam, as a, as a webcam. So first, open, open up your OBS. You're going to leave it open, come to your iPhone, plug it into your computer. It's going to ask you, do you trust this computer? If it doesn't, eventually it will. And if it never does, then you're in luck. But anyway, mine trusts it because my iPhone's my main camera for my YouTube channel, which I invite you to check out, and you're probably enjoying the fruits of it. Um, but we're going to go to a plus, once it's plugged in and trusted, go to video capture device, and we're going to name it iPhone 11 Pro Max, because that's the one I have. You can name it whatever you want, as long as you remember that the source that you're adding is your iPhone or iPad. And in here, you're going to go to device, and there it is. It shoots you up here. If it doesn't, restart your computer and your phone, and it shoots you up. And if you need help and it's not, send me screenshots and stuff on the social medias, and War07 is my username everywhere. So just follow the links in the description and hit me up. And there you go. Then once you set it up, it'll show up. Ba bam There it is. It is a screen capture of your phone, not the cameras on your phone. So you're capturing whatever your phone is showing. So definitely turn on Do Not Disturb and keep your stuff private, private. So I'm going to open the camera first just to show you an example here real quick. Uh, it's going to have a delay when you're setting it up, but once it's set up and set in stone, and you'll be much better off. Plus, I'm recording a lot of stuff on the same time here, so resources are of dire use. So, we're going to shrink it a little bit, and we're going to go into selfie mode. Hi there, guys. A video within a video. Isn't that cool? So, we're going to right-click on the iPhone source, transform, edit transform, because we're going to get rid of these ugly black bars on the right and left. Uh, we're going to use the scrolling wheel first because we don't know what the actual stuff is. By the way, this works in landscape orientation too. You just have to tweak it a little bit differently in, in this window right here in the transform section, but it's nothing too hard. Uh, we're going to do it there. I'm not going to do a great job at it because we're trying to just show you real quick. I want to keep this video as short and clean as possible. And if you're enjoying this and you want more help, don't forget to please hit the subscribe button with the like and the bell activated so you get notified whenever you, whenever I release new videos. And if you like Xbox Game Pass challenges, 
I'll be doing those every Tuesday. And I stream on Twitch every day except Tuesdays because I focus on those challenges to help people get free Xbox Game Pass Ultimate and free gift cards from Microsoft. The official legal way. Anyway, once you're in here, you have everything set up. Hit enter and then bada beam, bada boom. You have the iPhone as a webcam. Pretty cool, right? You can put it here. And if you need to switch it so it can be here on the left side, that's easy. You just well, move it <laughs> and then add a filter and or you can just actually, my bad, you can just flip it, flip it horizontal and there you go. You can make it look from any angle, really. We're going to keep it here and then we're going to add green screen because, of course, you're probably going to have green screen with this or just a border. You just put the border around it, um, but we're going to go to filters and then effects filters not audio this is where you mess around if you're having audio problems and if you are just hit me up in the comment section below or on my discord server i'll have a link in the description and then so that's the audio effects filters we're going to go to chroma key just leave it chroma key named and there we go as you can see obs studio compared to streamlabs obs you don't have to hit enter and close i mean before you can leave you can it's already quite set up and it's a good balance of color but anyway as you can see, it is set up. Bobby, you see? Green screen working on my iPhone as a webcam. Now, that's pretty much all you need for OBS Studio. You don't need that game capture, nothing. That's it. And that's all you need for it. But if you want to stick around, I'm going to show you how to do a Memojis real quick. So for that one, though, we'll go over to Streamlabs OBS. But for Studio OBS, there it is. You can add your your actual second monitor. You can add your actual current monitor on your Mac to do audio and stuff, to do gaming and stream that. By the way, you will need more than likely Loopback. It's this software here, or I show you Capture. If you want me to make a video on how to capture audio for your max desktop audio let me know and i'll make it for you but for today we're focusing on this so we're going to close obs studio over here and we're going to open streamlabs obs oops i didn't close obs studio but close it or because you won't need it anyway we're going into streamlabs obs in here this is what i use for my streaming and in here you're going to want to go also to add sources you probably, if you've never used it, they're not going to have any sources anywhere. And then go to video capture device. Pretty much same, same lingo and stuff as OBS. Add source. And you should already have your source set up. It should just be able to import it. But if it doesn't, we're going to go to add new source. Just so you see how it works. iPhone. We're going to call it iPhone. Add source. Select option. My iPhone. Right there resolution done and there you go you have it in streamlabs obs also uh, here you can of course go to transform which is just higher up edit transform and do all the cropping and whatnot that you want to do here it doesn't let me scroll with the wheel oh yeah it does but it's only one direction and there you go you just tweak it around to your liking um, this time though i'm not going to tweak it all be i'm not going to crop it all because i'm going to show you how to use memojis so we'll leave it there. You do your tweaking, all that good stuff. If you need green screen, you just go to filters, uh, chroma key. You just add it and then and you go down to color key and then just leave the name color key. It'll ask you for it. You do have to increase it because it doesn't do much with it by default and you tweak it to your liking. OK, so right here. Now that we have a setup, we're going to do emojis. This is where the fun stuff is. You're going to get out of your camera or you can just start straight into new message. The messaging app is the only place you can do memojis. So you need to capture your messages app. Go to your memoji icon after you type in random stuff. Doesn't matter. And then just to allow you to input text for your message, just go straight to the little arrow on the left, the, not the star, my bad. And there you go. Uh, you have your creation window and here you can choose any emoji that you already have i'm gonna do this one right there that's my favorite and then you can even do filters let's go do a filter right here 
and all of this is being processed on your iPhone. And definitely there is quite a bit of a demand for hardware to process whatever the iPhone is sending. But as if you've ever tried Snap Camera on Mac OS and you haven't been able to, I struggle with that. I wasn't able to process Snap Camera during my capture, my stream, and that's how I figured this out. I said, why doesn't another computer do all the heavy lifting and just sends a signal? And that's what this is doing. Uh, you can do stickers too. Let's put Pikachu. It will follow you. Look at that. Cool, right? So it'll follow you around. Um, iPhone 10 does the job, but the, the newer iPhone you go, like iPhone 10s had better angles and a little bit more distance. And then the Pro has extreme angles, like legitimately not even looking at it. <laughs> and it still worked. And distance was increased. So definitely if your current phone is lacking, it's probably because you have a 10 or 10R. But anyway, there we go. That's Streamlabs. You can toy around with it and do your thing. Again, you don't need the game capture. You can just capture your desktop or something else and stream that like a website or whatever. A window. Now, we're going to go to game capture. Let's close this off. We're going to turn off the OBS link because game capture needs the card. And if, if it's being used by something else, you're not going to be able to use it with the game capture HD, which is their official free um, like software, which it works. It does just the basics. It is a bit intensive resource heavy, but not compared to Streamlabs OBS. I believe it is less. And the quality that you can record at is in my experience higher. So this is my software that I use for my free uh, for my guides for like Xbox Game Pass instead of Streamlabs because Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio quality is not as high quality as this thing because of the OBS link. It's not a direct connection. Uh, but if you have the HD 60s plus, more than likely you can. But anyway, there it is, the card. Uh, right now it's struggling because I'm recording the screen and the camera at raw and crap. So it's definitely heavy on the resources, but there you go. Uh, my iPhone's right there. Of course, the filters though, for some reason, are not carrying over. Is that my iPhone? What the fits? Where's that camera coming from? Oh, I found you. It's the Logitech. Yeah, that's the camera I use. <laughs> that was scary. Anyway, uh, let me show you real quick. Let's go to one that's not being used. So like this one, the Elgato Gaming. You just go to add and same process, just called webcams. Actually, even simpler than Streamlabs OBS and OBS Studio. Just 11 Pro Max. It'll load it up and bada beam, bada boom. It is a lot smaller, but you just make it big. And there you go. Elgato Game Capture HD. You can have your Memojis or your just your iPhone as a webcam. And that way you don't have to go buy one. And enable chroma key is the sad part. You can't crop unless you have chroma key. But once you have it, you just crop it and boom. And of course, you can mess around with the threshold. And there you go. Easy, right? So if you have any questions on the three softwares, let me know. And if you like this kind of video, please hit the subscribe button. It helps me grow and be able to provide these kinds of tutorials for you. And remember, any questions or anything, just stick to Anwar07 on YouTube or the or the social medias. And I hope to see you on Twitch. I stream every day of the week, except Tuesdays. And I'll talk to you all next time. Peace.